Okay, looking through the Atlas Copco product line, we're here with Rich Elliott talking about uh, hydraulic tools. Atlas Copco's got a long history, I know, with hydraulic systems. Tell us uh, uh, about the, the products that you're showcasing here at IQ. Well, right here we've got uh, our breaker range, and we're starting off with our smallest one, which weighs approximately 108 pounds. Uh, we have 19 models uh, in our breaker range uh, that includes all, that goes all the way up to uh, 22,000 pounds. Um, on this particular model, we've got uh, the mounting bracket that would fit a mini excavator or a backhoe style breaker. But uh, with this, we've got the combo bracket so that it can be easily attached without any bolts or anything so that you could attach it to a skid steer. So depending on what uh, the customer may have on site, he can use this hammer without having any tools or, or anything and, and uh, swap it from the mini excavator or backhoe to a skid steer. So Rich, what kind of applications would you find for a, a hammer that small, that, that SB-52? This one here, uh, there's a lot of uh, demolition sites where they're, they're using smaller robot machines that can't oh, okay. pick up a lot of things. So the smaller breakers can, can be hooked to that. Uh, it reduces uh, some of the people having to be in a, a dangerous area where they can use remote machines mm -hmm. and use small hydraulic breakers to, to chip away or break at the uh, material needing to be demolished. Yeah, and the quick attach for this uh, unit uh, between a, a, a loader bucket and, a, and an excavator boom uh, is, I would assume, got to be a pretty pretty popular um, option for that. It is, because a lot of uh, landscapers and small contractors uh, may need this breaker on one job site where they have a backhoe or a mini excavator, and then if they need to use it on another job site, they can just move the breaker and the bracket and they don't have to move the machine as well. They can use it on a skid steer or whatever that might be at that job site. So right. it makes it a little bit ease in maneuverability to make sure that they can utilize their product I on see. different machines. I see. Well, I understand you're also featuring some hand hydraulic tools. Why don't you tell us about those? Yes, we've got uh, the handheld hydraulic uh, breakers here. Uh, we've got the ergonomic handles so that uh, you get uh, less vibration through your arms and through your body to reduce uh, fatigue as well as uh, uh, on-site job uh, job injuries. Uh, we've also. I was just just going to ask. I know that 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 in in Europe they're regulating uh, vibration in into operators. I know that in the U.S. we're not quite that far. Is this the same product that uh, Atlas Comco sells in Europe? Yes, this is the same product we sell in Europe. Uh, the only difference may be the, the uh, tool diameter or the tool right. sizes because we, we uh, configure that for the U.S. market. Okay. But other than that, yes, it's the same tool. Uh, in certain areas, in certain markets, they're also starting to put some ergonomic regulations on, on mm -hmm. some of these tools, and, and we've got uh, the leading advantage on some of that, in, that uh, technology. And the Euro technology satisfies those North American uh, Yes, it regs? absolutely does. Uh, I see. Great. What else did you got? Do you have? We've got the uh, post driver for uh, fence post drivers or, or fence post companies so that they can drive the fence posts. Uh, we've got the fence post puller, so if you're removing a fence or, or, or removing any type of, of I-beams or anything, you, you can uh, remove that and it's all hydraulically operated. We've got uh, the, the model of power pack that we're showing today is, is a model 1840, meaning it's got an 18 horsepower motor and goes up to 40 liters per minute or up to 10 gallons per minute. And that post puller, is that, how does that work? Is that the, 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 you're, you're actually just chaining uh, the, the post to the machine and... The, and yeah, we would use this chain and, and we would tighten the chain tight around the post and then we've got teeth here that, that actually grab the post and start pulling the post up. Uh, people can use these for, for just regular fence posts and or even on the highway where you, where you have your guardrails and stuff, they mm -hmm. can pull out the guardrails as well. I see. What's that unit weigh, do you know? Uh, this unit weighs uh, approximately about 130 pounds. Okay, all right. So you need a couple of guys, I would assume. Yeah, a couple around. guys, but you'll need a couple guys to pull this out. The nice thing about the, the hydraulic power packs is, is you can put them in, in a car or a pickup truck or something like that, and you don't have to tow anything behind you. Right. Uh, you can just load everything up in, in one, one vehicle. You can minimize your, your manpower. Right, sure, okay. And there's a, another breaker there that we also want to talk about, right? Yeah, here we've got our, uh, our Cobra Combi, and this is a gas-powered breaker and a, and a drill. So this can be used in remote areas where you may not be able to get vehicles or, or uh, air compressors or anything like that up there. Uh, it can be a one-man uh, show um, in rural areas where they need to drive uh, uh, stakes or posts or do some soil sampling or anything like that, uh, this is a 
this is the product that a lot of people use. Is that a four-stroke engine or two? It's a two-stroke engine and it meets the 2010 uh, EPA standards. 